It is the last of its kind, the plane that helped bring an end to World War II. The only one still flying is in Sarasota, and it's going to be there this weekend. It is called a B-29 Super Fortress, and it is the type of plane that was used to drop an atomic bomb in Japan. New Channel's John Rogers joining us live now in Sarasota. And, John, this plane is absolutely incredible, but you also got to chat with some World War II vets today. I know they had to have some amazing stories to share. Oh, Rod, it was absolutely fascinating. I could have spoken with these guys all day. They're sharp as attack. They can recall these events just as if they happened yesterday. And hearing their stories, it's easy to see why they're called the greatest generation. Russell Gockenbach and this B-29 are kindred spirits. Fifi is the last airworthy model of the B-29, and Gockenbach is the last living survivor of the B-29's most famous mission, the bombing of Hiroshima. In August 1945, Gockenbach was a navigator serving aboard the necessary evil. It was a B-29 that flew alongside the Enola Gay, which carried the atomic bomb. Well, we didn't know what was going to happen, but we knew we were going to drop a bomb. We had no idea what kind of bomb it was. After dropping the payload, Gockenbach snapped this photo. And as the mushroom cloud rose, he and his crew tried to grasp what had happened. It was awful quiet. Very somber, huh? Very somber. We didn't realize what we did, though. We didn't realize that we initiated the atomic age. Hundreds of miles away, Harlan Twibel was a young officer aboard the USS Indianapolis. The crew had just delivered that bomb and was heading back home when they were torpedoed. Twibel and his men struggled to survive in the water while sharks circled them. You couldn't pick out just one and say, look at the shark, because there were a lot of sharks. Many of his men were eaten alive. The, the sharks did not attack a group. They attacked individuals. The danger was relentless until rescuers finally arrived four days later. It was God's will that we would survive. Those stories of heroism and survival are important to share for future generations because the greatest generation sacrificed so much to give us our freedom. And both men question whether the young people today could fight a war like what they fought over 70 years ago. And they both hope that we never see a day where another nuclear weapon is dropped. Now, I want to add this in real quick. This plane will be on display at the Retrix Aerodome Center on Clyde Jones Road in Sarasota through the weekend uh, into Sunday. Back to you guys. All right, John. Absolutely amazing story. Thanks for bringing that to us. John Rogers live in Sarasota tonight.